Quick tip, I'm going to show you how to render out audio to go along with your EXR sequences in the movie render queue. So I've got this simple scene set up and these are all blueprints that have audio files in there when they play and I'm going to render this EXR sequence out but I want the audio to come with it. So just a demo with what we have here when I play this. So I'm going to show you in the movie render key how we can do this really fast. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my sequence. We're going to bring it in here and I'll show you what I've got set up first and foremost. So I'm rendering out my EXR sequence. I've got my anti-aliasing set up and my console variables and this is going to render much slower than I would want it to if I wanted to just keep iterating on audio and sending this out. So what I'll do with this when I go to render this is I've got my main EXR sequence and you could tack onto it um, adding a wave file, but what I prefer to do is create another version. So what I'm going to do here is we're gonna turn off anti-aliasing, deferred render, EXR, color output, and all the console variables. So we just have exactly what we want. And what I'm gonna do is go up to settings and add wave audio. And then in my outputs, the other thing I want to make sure to do is I like to put this just a folder above. So take off my naming tokens that I've got for the folder. And I'm also going to drop the frame number as well. And the way this is set up now is that this is going to output uh, in the parent folder is all my EXR frames, sequence name and the camera name. And the way I've got that set up in here is I've got camera one and camera two. So this is going to output a wave file for each camera cut that I have in here. And then now we're just gonna go to save as a preset. I've got my movie render queue audio. We can save it over that. So now we're ready to render. We just need to turn off our EXRs because we don't wanna do that. We're gonna switch this down to movie render queue audio that we just made. Hit render. And you'll see how quickly it can crank out to audio files. So now we go to follow this path and now we have the audio files that align with our EXRs that we can drop right into our external editor. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If so, appreciate it.